What is going on everybody? It's nothing but skills. And in today's video, we are going to be soloing a heroic mission. We're going to be doing Lincoln Memorial. And the build I'm going to be using is the same build I put out to you guys, I want to say about a week ago. And then I tweaked it a little bit and I gave you guys a little bit of an updated build. If you guys still want to see that build and you guys don't want to go to a different link, I'll have the link in the description. But at the end of this video, I will have the build itself. So if you guys go near the end of the video, you can see the full build breakdown. But let's dive into Lincoln Memorial. We're going to be doing this on Heroic Solo, and I'm going to be going for it. So let's get into it. Oh, here we go. We got to get this. Two guys there. We got to clear out this area real quick. The one thing about this build, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, guys, is you guys need to play smart. Like, play in cover. Use your... Like these pillars. You see how I'm, I'm hugging the pillars? That way there's less of me for them to shoot. But yeah, you see that? You see that? You see how I'm just holding it? Easy work right there. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. And also, when while running the gunner class, the great thing about running the gunner class is the fact is the fact that you have um 10% armor on kill. So that with the fixer joint, you're pretty good. Nailing them of this, and also when you're in place with the gunner class, you get that stability increase. Oh, you gotta watch out! Watch out. Yeah, and then on heroics, um, if you can stay back and use distance, and then also the higher ground, those are like your two best um, friends right here because it's harder for the enemy to hit you with random nades. Um, it's just harder. It's just easier for you to move around if you have enough room. You'll see me going left to right. Well, man, these guys, we're mowing them down pretty good. We're doing pretty good so far. Goal is to try to finish this in less than 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. All right. What do you got, got right there? Make sure we take out that medic. Yeah, not today, boy. What else? I'm a big fan of this MG5 though. Man, vigilance was proc most of the time. If you guys notice, um, you, can, you remember I told you guys you guys can run um unstoppable force or vigilance. That's really up to you. But I'm I'm really liking vigilance in certain situations, and I've been running it a lot, especially in heroics. Grab this ammo. So we're on the second part. We didn't really get a heavy guy. Usually you get like at least one heavy guy that shoots a bunch of nades. Some oh the boss. I know the boss for sure drops one up here. Easy work, baby. Easy. Oh, oh. I want perfect vigilance though, because it would it will let vigilance kick on quicker. You see, it's not like when people think like vigil vigilance isn't that bad. Um even when you get shot, those four seconds go by pretty quick. If I can get perfect vigilance, definitely improve this build. So bad. Where's he at? Oh. Man, fast hands has changed my life with LMGs. Like, I was going with strain because I wanted the extra damage, but you do so much damage without having to run. Oh. Medical assistance needed. Trying to save this make it though. we we'll no scope him. Switch the sniper, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, sh was that a rocket? I'm gonna push him. Get the hell back. 
Ah, he, he like the moves, don't y'all? Y'all like those moves right there. What we got? What we got? Nice, baby. Oh. Got a guy right there. Sit with Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So that's what I'm telling you guys. You guys watch out. That's one thing that hurts this build. Those nades. I'm going to try to push back a little bit. Get away from the boss. Oh, my Jesus. We might lose it here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't destroy my hive. Yeah, so with that... Okay, so on this part right here, for at least this mission, that guy who shoots those those big nades, those things are like auto-lock. Come on, come on. If we can drop these two guys, we can focus on the big guy. The foam grenade works great on that big guy, so that's what we're going to use on him. Come on. One more shot, one more shot. Pop your head up. I missed. Why isn't he popping his head up? Come on, I know you want to shoot me with the... No need to pop your head up. Got him. Right, where's this big dude who almost killed me? Hit me with that grenade launcher. Where's he at? Where is he at? Oh, oh, well, there he is. All right, we're going to foam grenade him. Let's, let's hit him with a foam grenade. Now let's blast them. Perfect, let's go. I need to be careful because he can literally destroy me with one shot. Stick him gay. Peek him, peek him. His armor's got to be almost done. Oh my Jesus. That's what I tell you. You got to be careful with this guy. But we got him. GG, boys. All right, so we finished the first boss. What kind of loot did I get? Oh, 15% assault rifle damage? But I think I already have one of those in my library. Mm, we'll probably just pick this up. Hmm... For Rosie, I probably won't use two gills. Probably just trash that. What do we get here? Um, I have better rolls, and then I have better rolls with this in the. All right, we're good. All right, let's go. We're we doing pretty good. Not too bad. What do we got? Like about five, five, eight minutes or so. Maybe seven minutes, six minutes, something like that. This next room, we need to make sure we stay back because there's some, there's a lot of um, shotgunners that like to rush this room. Yeah, yeah. Yep, this is it. Stay right here. We just finished these guys up here. Ooh, oh, man. Smell through them. Come on, come on. Oh, got one guy rushing to the right. Got him. So we got guys in the back. Oh, look at that armor just melts. That's what I love about this build. You see how fast um, Vigilance comes back? If you look at the little symbol. Got him. Let's see. Oh, we got a guy to the left. One guy in front of me. Looks like we only got like three guys left. This guy right here. I'm gonna bust this. Finished him off. 
with those um, turret guns, if you shoot the little tanks on, they have like the little ammo pouches on them, it will make the engineer go back to it and it won't let that thing shoot at you anymore. So you don't have to destroy the whole thing, just aim for the weak spot, which is the little ammo pouch. Where's this guy at? Come on. I can't see where he's at. I think there's one guy, right? Got him. Oh no, there's only one guy. We're good. There is a black tusk box back here somewhere. Alright, oh here it is. It's over here in the corner, I remember. Chew Sun, sorry, Chew Suns. What did he get? Um I don't have that swap seed, but we'll destroy that. We're good. Ooh, make moving on along. I think we only have one more hard room. The other room isn't going to be hard at all. I think the only other hard room is going to be the final room with the bosses. Let's get this loot in here, though. Shoot this little yellow box. Thank you. Take that. What do we got in here? MP5. What other kind of loot do we have here? Just purple box. I noticed... Um, in those boxes, I, I wonder if they nerf those boxes because you usually get a lot of purple out of those. You hear that? Uh, let's open this one. Take that. DC sixty-two. Um, nothing. Nothing I really need. When I get purples now, I just look for if they have a higher roll than I had in my library. If they don't, then I just delete it. Um, or I mark it for junk, and then I either sell it or I deconstruct it all for like ceramics, electronics, the brand set itself. Just some some little tips you guys can do. I think we got one more. Yep, I'm gonna shoot this box right here, and then on our left, we're gonna have a room. Yep. What do we got here? More purple, just a bunch of junk. I didn't see any good rolls anyway. This room isn't too hard. Oh, 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 look at that gold. We don't even need damage to elites on this build. I am the damage. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Look, talking all that smack. He didn't expect that. You saw that? <laughs> Blew up that tank on him. Let's pop the... Yeah, I just wanted to pop that. It's like, what, there's two guys left? I don't see the guy to my... Oh, there he is. Sitting in the corner. Oh, no, no more spawns. Oh. Oh. I want to save this med kit, though. This radar up top is all over the place. I don't know if the guy is to my left. Where is he? Oh! Yo, that radar. What's here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh no, 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 no way. I, I just die right here in Heroic. Come on, come on. Don't bust that, please. Please don't bust it. Oh my Jesus. Why am I looking at loot and not clearing the room? Woo! Ooh, we got kind of lucky there. Good stuff. Um, the status effects, I can put that in my library. Okay, come on. Let's keep moving. Wait. 
All right, let's go. Not too bad. We cleared out that room as well. We're about probably like 14 minutes in. We have one more secret over oh, right here. We grab that. Yep, get that. Bunch of junk. Nothing I need. Over here we should have our box. Yep. True Sun's box. Um I don't I have a oh that's a good crit chance I can put all my I can roll that into my library. Better than what I have. Slide on over here. Oh, we got a heavy. That should keep them from being able to transport those phone grenade out. I was trying to hit his weak spot. Throw another foam grenade. I don't want him to move around. I don't know if he has a nade. I don't want him to shoot me with that nade. Oh, he has, no, he has a shotgun. What? I'll pop this. Finish him off. Alright, now, now it should be easy. I don't think there's any other big guys that come out besides him. Where is he at? Pop your head up. Oh, I missed the headshot. Oh, we crit, so that's all good. What are you coming up the stairs for? Is that guy right there? Yeah. Pop your head up. Hit him again. Man, he keeps ducking. Oh, let's hit that tank guy yeah, over there. This oh finally she she was kept she kept ducking her head. Um we only have a couple guys left. Oh this guy trying to flank me. I'm gonna push right, try to finish these guys off, and then then we're in the the last room, which we should finish this about 20 minutes, like I said, around 20 minutes. If I don't die to this thing right here. Get him, get him, get him. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. One more room. One more room. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch to my other LMG because there is this big, there's two tanky guys that come out, and I'm gonna use the other LMG for them with steady handed. So what steady handed is gonna do is gonna let me now not have to reload as long as I hit 100 shots, and I have 150 on that one. Uh, nothing there. Not too bad. We've been getting a lot of ceramics, electronics in this mission. From the boxes that are laying around. Grab some ammo and I think we're good. Let's go. So we're gonna get three bosses in this room. Maybe we'll get lucky with the exotic. Hoping. I'm hoping we get some exotics. This guy just melted. I can't believe you live. Oh, there's a boss. Boss number one. Hit the guy that comes with him. Oh, his armor is done. 
Pop your head up. Pop, come on, pop it, pop it. Let's push him, right? Yeah, let's go. Oh, we almost had him. Like one or two shots, man. There you go. Now we got one boss. Another boss is coming right now. The medic. I want to finish him off because he'll try to get people up. And we have his little sidekick. Alright, let's back up. The next guy is a big dude for sure. Switch my... Uh, this, is why, this is why I switch my LMG. Look at him. Now I can just... Aim for that weak spot. Remember, you can't do any damage if you hit him in the chest. You gotta hit him in that weak spot right there. Come on, pop it. Ah, oh, we were so close. You just gotta hit that weak spot, man. Let's finish this guy off, though. Got him. Alright, so far, nothing really good. I didn't see any exotic job. Let's get him. Can we pop it? Can we pop it? It's almost ready. There we go. Bam! And that's it. What are we at? We're, oh, we're a little, we're probably a little bit over, like, probably 20 minutes. And we finished it. Not too bad at all. I'm um, just collecting the loot real quick. Got a couple max rolls that I can put in my library. Nothing too, nothing crazy that I want. Like this is gonna be trash right here. I'm just gonna sell this stuff. Maybe, maybe for the talent if I need the talent for my library. See what the boss dropped me. Looks like we have a high. We got 15% weapon damage on the knee pads. I think I already have this roll. It's not a bad rolled one anyway. But that's it. All we have to do is go into this elevator, and that is. It, that, that, that's the end of the mission. We finished Lincoln Memorial on Heroic. Now I'm going to show you, we're going to dive right into the build like I promised you guys. So if you guys want to see the build, the exact build I was running, the most up-to-date version of it, you guys can watch that right now. But let's get into the build because I promised you that I'll show you my most up-to-date LMG build. So this is what I currently run Heroics with. So we have 15% LMG damage, 12% damage to targets out of cover on this infantry MG5. I got it. I was lucky enough. It had 5.5 crit chance on there, and then it had fast hands, critical hits at a stack, a 4% reload speed bonus, max stack 40. So we are stacking crit chance on this. Um, so we have crit chance on the scope, the underbarrel, and then we have the 50 round mag, plus we have the 20% stability. For my secondary, I love running a sniper rifle and the white death. It was sold a couple days ago, and I picked it up, and it's one of the easiest sniper rifles to use. It has 711,000 base damage. It has 15% marksman rifle damage, 137% headshot damage, and then I have Optimus on here. So weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. I wish I could have a little bit different talent here, but it's not horrible. It's not a horrible talent. I just wanted to have that 15% marksman rifle damage rolled on there. Now, if we get into the build itself, I'm going to go pretty quick with this because you guys might have watched my last build. I did make some changes. We have the Providence Mask. This gives us 15% weapon damage, 4.7 crit chance, 11% crit damage, and then we have a mod on there for 10.5% crit damage. For the chest piece, we're running 13.4% weapon damage. Another Providence piece, it has 9.2% crit hit damage, 3.7% crit hit chance, and then I have a God Roll 6% crit hit chance mod on there i am running glass cannon not perfect glass cannon this one gives you the 25 percent amplified damage but it also makes all incoming damage amplified by 50 percent you could run perfect glass cannon but that extra 10 percent incoming damage is a little bit on the super super squishy side but if you can play with it go ahead by all means you can run that that gives you that 30 percent weapon damage now for the holster i have the cheska holster 10 percent critical hit chance we have 10.5 percent weapon damage 12% critical hit damage roll on here, and then I have 8.1% headshot damage. Ideally, um, if you feel like you're not hitting a lot of headshots and you're more of a body shot kind of guy, then maybe the headshot isn't a good one for you there, and then you could roll crit chance on there, and that might be a better roll for you. But you should be able to hit 60% crit hit chance without having to do that. 
The knee pads, the knee pads I just talked to you guys about, the Overlord knee pads, it, we have 12.4% weapon damage, 15% damage to targets out of cover, and then I rolled the God roll of 6% crit hit chance on those knee pads. So that's something that you guys want to try to get. For the gloves, we have the name gloves, the contractor gloves. These are Petroff, so you want to farm the Petroff areas. This has a really low weapon damage roll, but it gave me a god roll of 11% damage to armor. And then I rolled crit chance on there. If I already had a crit chance roll, even if it was lower, I wouldn't have rolled this. I would have rolled the weapon damage. But I had like a health roll, and I didn't want the health roll. I wanted to have the crit chance, so that's why I rolled the crit chance on there. For the backpack, this is one piece I definitely can improve. I'm going to start farming some Providence pieces to improve this. This gives me the three piece of Providence. We have 10.4% weapon damage. I wish I could get better there. We have 10.8% critical hit damage. That 7% explosive resistance. You you rather want to have all red. So if you could have crit hit chance there, you would be able to put more stability mods on your LMG and not have to worry about it on there. And then we have the 10.3% critical hit damage mod rolled on there. I have Vigilance, increased total weapon damage by 25%, and then you do lose that if you take any damage for 4 seconds, and then it resets. But if you have Perfect Vigilance, it's only 3 seconds. So if you can get that, that's probably what you want to do. You can also just switch that out and run Unstoppable Force. I run both of these talents. I, sw I swap out the talents every now and then. If you feel like you're taking way too much damage because they're just focusing you a lot, then Unstoppable Force is probably going to be better for you. Killing an enemy increases total weapon damage by 5% for 15 seconds. So... That does stack up to 5, so that would be up to 25%. So if you're getting a lot of kills really quick, Unstoppable Force is probably going to be your best bet. I like running Vigilance a lot too. I don't know. I can't decide. It just depends. If you look at yourself and you notice, okay, my Vigilance is always on cooldown because I'm always taking way too much damage, then I totally understand. But if you feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm actually putting out a lot of damage in that initial burst, then it's worth it. Then by all means, keep Vigilance. Let it, That should be up to your playstyle. So if you look right here, we have 60% crit chance. So for the numbers, we are running 60% crit hit chance, 103% crit hit damage, 103% headshot damage. And then we have that 11% armor damage. Plus, remember, we have the 15% tar um, damage to targets out of cover, but that doesn't show up on the stats. And that's the build right there. So if you guys have any questions on the build that I used to complete this mission on Heroic, you guys had it. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys have any questions, use the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel and want to see more gameplay like this, more build videos, hit the subscribe button, turn notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys get notified. But until the next one, nothing but skills out.